Oh my god, I do want to apologize, Shaker but I just received an alarm just now, some crew outside dealing with equipment fault and need me to assist, this at the car show across the street at the drive-in theater. Oh dear, slacker, what is the cause? Some car horns, this assumingly to start the esports match with you and your team against Riker Defiant, from a 11 Toyota Tundra, 04 Nissan Skyline GTR R34 Z Tune, and a 40s retro car. Okay, do come back as soon as possible, slacker. Okay, shaker. Well, the crew has since went inside, anyhow the equipment they use in which suffered a fatal error, a fault, and malfunction, it's those of the outdated ones, with the microchip and critical components that was very sensitive to certain subjects and extra care was needed to operate, oh my god, code rain star, code rain star, must head to the HQ immediately as my rain gear is inside the RDK 3000 TriStar main HQ, RDK's code rain star may yield AMSE's level 1 rainfall alert. This is I'll carry the handle and upon heading to ground floor, must put on my rain gear and head out. Oh my god, begat, yeesh, eep, AIAO, 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 alarm, alarm, Milo's decryptor, what with the alarm condition now? Undetermined alarm, this is Zen S. Crypter sounded the alarm at room 13 R8 at 13th floor from the Zvar DK terminal. Yes, Milo and Max, you better head there immediately, you better head there immediately, let's go! For some reason we are now humans as we got transformed during our sleep, thus the RDK alarms woke us up at 10.22 hours RDK. Yes, Raidster, how is this possible? I don't know, Jessica. Yes, same as I young. However my and Raidster's devices has also been upgraded. Yes, same as Chubby's laptop and tablet, to the more powerful ones. Correct Piccolo P. Crypta, I were going to go into a furry human type but to a full human. No wonder how I became from splits into human type, I Drexter D. Crypta will have to check the CCTV camera footage between 2200 hours to 1120 hours, even to get in touch of our DK3000 TriStar security office. However my anchovies macro cars that was parked at this room yesterday night gets moved outside and is now those of full size cars. Yes. Drexter, the cars we drive, now full-size cars, my car is a PHEV with turbocharged 1.8 liter flex fuel engine, 7-speed transmission, your car is an electric car with a 100 kilowatt hour lithium-ion battery. Milo Z, Ryan M, they have been transformed to human type. Noted, Matt as decryptor. Thank you, Chubby H, Drexter S, how is this possible? Zen S Cryptor here, the one who sounded the alarm. Chubby H Cryptor, Drexter S Cryptor, as Milo Z Cryptor said, what gives? It was a sudden surprise, but I do not know who or what caused this, how and why. This is I will gonna review the CCTV footage. This as I will telephone RDK3000 Trista security office also to check the security camera footage also the lot. Time out. I heard from my colleague you outside at the car show, at the drive-in theater, it has begun to rain, as it's raining hard as it's quite also windy out but not too strong. Bogey M. Crypter, are you inside your car or outside? I am indoors at DG Square Elidos its eSports Arena section, standing beside my friend and colleague Bordy M. Crypter, and behind Mickey Daniels of Elite City Shock. Bordy told me to head to the establishment to chat, as he's spectating eSports match of Elite City Shock and Rexer Defiant. 
Is this urgent or an emergency? No. It is not urgent nor emergency, just needed to know where you at as I didn't knew you had to head indoors. You heading back outside soon? Yes, as I must head back outside in 2 to 3 minutes. Vortium Crypto here, yes, this has Mac 1 is nearing its end, and it looks like Elite City Shock to take Mac 1, leading in map score at this moment. Oh my god, they win Mac 1, this in Battle Blitz Wars, Mickey Daniels made the first blood and most eliminations. Max S Decryptor's devices just went off stating custom alarm, unsure if it's related to the result of Map 1 in eSports match. Zen S Cryptor, it is. Bogey M Cryptor, Wordy M Cryptor, this is Max S Decryptor, aka Slacker, Tell Shaker, my twin bro Mickey Daniels from Elite City Shock that I am on my way. Okay Max, by the way, Bogey M Cryptor has just left the eSports arena section of DGSELZ and to be heading outside. Shaker. Game on. Vordy. Please be advised that your brother Slacker, Michael at Max SD Crypto is on the way to the eSports Arena section of DGSELZ. Alright, thank you. Anyhow, got my rain gear on, and have my umbrella at hand, time to head outside. Now I must head to the drive-in theater. Well, talk to Michael at you, about the equipment fault, replacement unit to be ready in the next 24 hours. Anyhow he has since went back indoors. Oh my god, it's raining hard, wind picking up fast, holding onto my hood and umbrella tight. Good thing my umbrella is windproof. Quite a rainstorm. Computer, request my car to present location. Request sent, your car is on its way. Should we board there via a plane, or via Hyperloop? And when should we wake up tomorrow? We'll be taking the Hyperloop, as I'll drive via cars I know how to drive a cars I did during the operation to stop ED zone and Z zone in KBE 0215 and which turned out successful. You ride via front passenger. We wake up at 0700 KBT. We head to the Hyperloop station no later than 1000 KBT. I consulted front desk regarding our trick just earlier in the day. XH Crypto, where do you put the leftovers? Did you put it in the trash? No, I saved the leftovers so we can eat for lunch when we ride in the Hyperloop. It's in my special bag as it's a thermal bag. It keeps the food and hot beverages hot while it also keeps cold drinks i.e. soda pop ice cold. We must get some sleep. We must wake up at 5.30 a.m. Hex City tomorrow as we must head to the station no later than 7 a.m. Anyhow the sign that has blew off during this morning's rainstorm that landed on Canboard E Street, 
it has since moved off the road and the road has since reopened. Now the car show is suspended until this evening as a result, however initially to resume this afternoon but some participants have other plans, now I must review some DVR recordings including the new Hex Year Celebration Countdown and the aftermath of the HY1K bug subject that follow. This on February 3, 2021, just before 1200 hours RDKTSR non-DST. Welcome back to A Little News 24 today. I am Mike Harrows over at A Little News 24, news center in Elite City in which it's 11.44 hours Elite City in which it's 23.44 hours in Hex City we want to take you live to DG Square Latosa at New Year Central as Jared Raystar and Renee Sanders to kick off the 15 minute countdown to the Hex Millennium as it's New Year's Eve on the Hex Napoleon calendar as it will be Hex Year 1000 New Year Ball system will be raised in Hex City also here in Elite City Metro imminently Anyhow in the meantime let's listen into the kickoff. Fifteen minutes or twenty-five decimals. Fifteen minutes The fifteen minute countdown has started, however at the conclusion of the fireworks, there will going to be fireworks in Hex City also across Hextapalia, and here in Elite City Metro. Illatopia in the federal district to be managed by DELCA, anyhow despite the daytime fireworks ban by law. There are special exemptions that get listed, one of it is the Hex Millennium as DELCA permits the fireworks to be sounded at midday Elite City to mark the Hex Millennium, so for Elite City residents watching whenever the fireworks go off at noon, don't ever call the police on this. To repeat, don't call the cops. Also Elite City Police and DELCA issues a statement stating not to dial 777, or DELCA Headquarters, also the 888 Emergency Services and 388 City Services. Misuse of the 888 Emergency Services is a crime and can lead to a maximum of 2,000 ELEO fine, and 18 months in jail. Anyhow it is 11.46 AM Elite City, 69.8 EMT, 1676 TRX as we want to bring up to speed on the other top stories this hour on A Little News 24 on February 3, 2021. Shark alarm was a false alarm in Sharkville yesterday, this was the alarm system was hacked into with a loudspeakers blaring with message saying, Shark alarm. Then audio changed playing some sex sounds from an X-rated porn movie, backup alarm system also had well, sounding the Well, when siren. I was in Sharkville during a day trip, Emergency when I was in car, I had to slam Sharkville on the brakes when the incident later, occurred. The bastard's friend who plot the hack, Sharkville residing in Elite City Metro, he and his friend also charges. gets banned from life from RDK 3000 TriStar. In the meantime since the match start if it's green light in Hextapalia being 12.15 p.m. Elite City, in the meantime, ELS and BRG to celebrate the new Hex Millennium in a makeshift NYE party with video monitor showing the action from New Year Central of DGSELZ. Celebrities will also be celebrating too, some made unexpected detour to NYE Central. That is all, I am Raymond Blake and we hand off back to Mike Harrows at Alito News 24, News Center.
That was Raymond Blake over at DG Square Latosat's Esports Arena section. If nothing arises on the HY1K bug and if it's confirmed that the myth is busted the Celebrity vs Gamers Esports match Elite City Shock and Blood Red Gaming vs the Celebrities to begin at 12.15pm Elite City is with a Xenopolean counterpart, with Xeno Liquid and Xenopolis City Shock vs the Xenopolean Celebrities. Coverage of this on Game TV once it begin. If all is good then Hex to Polya, as we are approaching final minute to the Hex Millennium on the Hex calendar. Anyhow I and the fellows at Illito Weather are among those not celebrating. As the Little Weather Metrologists also the MSE are closely watching the severe thunderstorms moving across southeastern Latopia with tornado watches including a PDS tornado watch for Dutch City and severe thunderstorm warnings with one cell starting to produce circulation near Dutch City. Also I must be on alert in case of news flashes that come to the Illito News 24 newsroom if there's a major HY1K event similar to what used to be the Y2K bug crash tube state event that ended up a buzz just 21 years ago on January 1st, 2000. Anyhow on behalf of the Little News 24, I'm Mike Harrow's wishes everyone a splendid hex millennium and I will be back at 12.03 p.m. Elite City, or whenever there's breaking news especially the HY1K event, or a severe weather alert including tornado warnings. I am Mike Harrows from the Little News 24, News Center Studio EL1 at Patters EDZ Jinx and Canberra Little Net HQ in Elite City. We have some breaking news just into the Little News 24 newsroom and I believe it's a serious one. There has been a major incident in West Hextapalia, this according to wires, in Defiant Bill, some metro tram crashed into the storefront, a plane from Hexjet has crashed onto an apartment in which that plane and metro tram are not HY1K compliant in which all other fleet are HY1K compliant. This results in a crash and the HY1K bug spread to all other systems in Defiant Bill resulting in a catastrophic explosion with a mushroom cloud that was so massive it was reported to be seen from space by weather satellites and by visible sighting from the International Space Station by an astronaut as we got told of that just now, with reported window shattering according to wires in other areas in West Hextapalia and parts of Sikapo area including West Kiviyoni just now. And we just learned now the event has since triggered a tsunami and the agency in Splatoon has issued a tsunami warning, this for East Splatoon region, tsunami wave of 2.5 meters, 10 nitros to strike eastern Splatoon coast, tsunami sirens now going off East Splatoon coast, as residents are urged to evacuate the coastlines immediately. The tsunami is also expected to strike East Kanbordi, East Swedekan, and Eastern Korhatapian coastlines but effects of the tsunami is much less than those in Splatoon as a tsunami advisory is in effect for affected areas, tsunami weigh 40 to 80 centimeters, 1 to 2 nitros expected, residents urge to stay away from waters, marinas, and harbors, treat that as a shark alarm level 5. Tsunami advisories also get issued for most areas in most of Eastern Kanbordi world and Sikapo areas. Now. We just got told that the eSports match in the Utopian and Xenopolean Celebrity vs Gamers match also the Grand Finals and Canberra Gamer Mid-Season Tournament with the Celebrity matches originally to get held in next 15 minutes, that has since gets postponed in wake of events. This has the marches to get held the same time but tomorrow, to repeat, eSports marches scheduled today postponed 24 hours to same time tomorrow. Market flash to bring to you, Hextapolian futures just turned negative, and the Elio and other currencies including Kolodzi and Xenikos, and Canberra coins has surged against the Hextapolian dollar. We must interrupt cause we have a severe weather alert to pass to you. A tornado warning is in effect for Dutch city in Rex West Province in Dan Prefecture. This by Metrologial Service of Utopia, we hand off to the Little Weather Forecasting Center and map.
Not only a tornado warning has been issued but a tornado emergency has been issued for Dodge City as well. This is we at Alito Weather just now told that the tornado is on the ground to the northwest of Dodge City, moving southeast. Persons in affected area must seek shelter immediately. This means if you are watching this in Dodge City, this is a dangerous situation, you must seek shelter now. Here's more from my colleague you Alito Weather Meteorologist Velma Richardson. Thank you Matt Zanders, as you can see on the MSE Doppler radar, that there's very strong rotation and there's a hook signature that has since formed. Well, and the tornado said, made a sudden turn to the east and nearly missed Dodge storm City. Storm However, severe flash flooding was reported in Dodge City with rushing water Dodge flow, choppy waves, flood water temperature chilly, water depth 5 meters, 20 nitros. Power were knocked out, homes washed away. Took six weeks to recover, with half of population emigrated as a result, a tenth of population dead, and establishments moved. That is all from Elite City Metro. I am Sarah Garrison from Elite News 24 reporting for Hex News 24 from NYE Central over at DG Square Elitozit in the Elite City Metro, Federal District, Elitopia as it's close to midday. Before we hand off, Jared Racer plus my collab Ringo Silver Star wants to give a huge shout out to you Robert and your crew for Hex News 24 and its viewers and wish the fellows a splendid Hex Millennium. Happy New Hex Year. Yes! Thank you for the shout out. That was Sarah Garrison over at the waterfront. Now the time is close as it is just about time, as it's 7.77 hexoctal time, 99.8 hexoctal time and 11. 57 p.m. Hex City on 30th of Mew. Hex Year 9, 99 Hex Year February 3rd, 2021 approaching 11. 58 p.m. as we have close to 2 minutes ta where the Hex Millennium, as we show you live shots of Hex City Metro, as we await the ball drop to descend from RDK 3000 Tristar Hex Napoleon Unit. And then the fireworks straight at midnight from the riverfront and from participating venues as we pause for a few. I am Robert Kiksuka over at Hex News 24 News Center, at Hex Media Headquarters in Hex City, Hex Tapulia, have a safe new Hex year. I will be back at 12.15am Hex City for the roundup, or sooner if there's any breaking news on the HY1K Bug Doomsday event should it go elevated, major, severe or catastrophic. Even me, RDK security officer Janet D. Crypter, take him away. Anyhow this was time to the DVR recording playback for the Hex Millennium on Hex News 24, or for the new Elite Metric here in one day 6 hours time, 
We do not tolerate false fire alarms at RDK 3000 TriStar. He'll be banned indefinitely and be arrested by the cops as that can result in a felony. Welcome back to Zeno News 24 special coverage of the Xenopolean Independence Day. I am Alex Riong over at Zeno News 24 News Center Studio XE64 at Zeno Media Headquarters in Xenopolis City, Xenopolia. Now, it is time for the fireworks. As the fireworks to kick off soon as duration of fireworks to be 6 hours 0 minutes, divided into 8 of the 45 minute segments, with each segment being divided into 8 parts. There will be two themes for the fireworks being for 2021. First being, Gamer, Gaming, and Esports. Well, this is there's an esports match to get held in nearby Zenar, in Zentopolis in its grand finals, Zento Liquid vs Optic Zento, first to four. Battle Blitz Wards at the Zentopolis Esports Gaming Center. Coverage of esports match on Zeno Gaming Esports. Match start in a moment. Second theme being Ben 10 Omniverse slash Ben 10 series at halftime, with the Spliction related subject, with Splix Zeno, a Spliction variant of Xenopolia, with its capital Zeno Splix City, a Xenopolian variant of Xenopolis City. Even have its news channel, Splix Zeno News Akko or 8. This is duration is duo or two Achu, with Akko, or 8 segments of duo or two Shoi, to OK or 16 Minotes with each segment of Akko or 8 segments parts with each part of duo or two Sekot. 5 minutes 37.5 seconds. Kickoff of the fireworks being on Acha Novi Minok Novi Splix Octal Time and Duo Splix Time, on Splix Year Duo Kao, 16, Splix Month Duo or 2, Day Octi Septao, 17, translating to Midnight Universal Time 25th. 6 p.m. Xenopolis City as we are seconds away. As Splix Zeno celebrates Okchi Quadiath or 12th Splix Year of Independence tonight. In the meantime, enjoy the fireworks.
For some reason, some RDK3000 Trista fellow has recorded this on the DVR, where the cursor is highlighted, Overwatch League Shock vs the World, San Francisco Shock vs the World, I have to erase it. Chubby H Crypto, do not delete the DVR recording. Why, Jessica, why should I not erase the DVR recording? Let me explain, it's Max SD Crypto's device, you must have permission first in order to do actions. However I am authorized to do this, Farah, hide DVR recording, Overwatch League Shock vs the World. Are you sure? Yes. DVR recording in subject hidden. Okay, Raidster. I wouldn't mind the auto race either however that will not be raised. The other two, I wonder why Max recorded the two just 24 hours ago, this as I chubby H crypto will check it out. Oh my god, the RDK6, grabbing my RDK terminal and sounding the alarm, as others need immediate attention on what I just witnessed on the RDK6, as I do acknowledge this wakes up the RDK6 once I sound the alarm as I must be on guard. RDK terminal command input, A, L, R, M, P, A, N, I, C, S, O, S, GO. Well, this is I'm wondering what is the outcome of the dino run, anyhow who's doing it? That is going to be me, Mad Zaniels. Yes, as your bro Robert R. Zaniels will be at the computer, as he will signal when you to begin and to conclude. Anyhow, for you, do ET, the same Nissan Skyline GTR R34 but you added AHEV aftermarket conversion also tuning adjustments and transmission swap? Yes, this since midweek, I mean mid-month. <laughs>
Tiffany has messaged us regarding the last minute event move, now, Savage, why did you show off your Mitsubishi Lancer Evo 3 rally at the car show? This because I want the folks to see the vehicle that can turn heads. Anyhow, where is your friend Itsuki? He is running a tad late. He is caught in traffic in motorway 75 as it's rush hour as traffic is very busy. I do note, construction, and a disabled semi-truck blocking left lane. Anyhow, please be advised that Elite City Metro is on daylight saving time since March 14th as they are 11 hours behind Hex City time, as it's 1900 hours, also the same time for RDK 3000 TriStar Clock time on the 27th, where it's 6 in the morning our time. 1900 hours in Elite City Metro on 27th? Yes Marco. Anyhow it'll gonna rain in the afternoon at the destination so be better carry our rain gear and umbrellas. Yes Jason, as I do have my bag with the leftovers from yesterday evening. Take note, for the destination country, Democratic Republic of Elitopia, currency is the Elio and is worth 10 hexapolian hexes, traffic drives on the right, not left as we drive on the left where they drive on the right. It's a dual system country, 25 keen intros per choy is a bit over 40 km per hour, 400 meters equal 1 keen nitro, 1 choy equal to 14 minutes 24 seconds. Make sure you have your passports and other required documents and IDs, as I do have my international driver's permit as I'm going to bring my car, as I will go and form the RDK 3000 TriStar Hextapolian deputy leader of our departure, as he will be in charge as we leave in 30 minutes as we depart in less than an hour, we go have breakfast and coffee at Hex Cafe along the route. Yes, as we head to the Hyperloop as the route goes to Silver City, Core Utopia, then Canbor D City. Yes then Webcaster field then non-stop Elite City Metro however to divert south to Xenopolis City, Xenopolia then north to Elite City Metro. We have our maps, we have our passports, we have our stud, we depart in 3 hours. What are you going to bring during the trip? We are going to bring gamer fan gear of Elite City Shock and Blood Red Gaming since we want to meet the esports gamers in person. Yes, this as we want to see Canber and Shaker, we also want to check out Delta 6. Yes, as I also want to check out Delta 6 also, this on Cambordia Street at the destination city, also the Cambordian inspired establishments. Okay, take note currency is the Elio, I still have a few Leo still in the trick and the operation in past few months as I went to Elite Burgers, as it's worth 29 Kentbor coins 50 cents, some establishments do accept Kentbor coins, but most establishments provide change in Leo's, with exception of establishments and stores in Kentbordy Street including Delta 6, change can be either given out in Leo's or Kentbor coins. It's a dual system country, 40 km per hour is about 25 keen and it rose per choy, 1 choy is 14 minutes 24 seconds. 1 km is 2.5 keen and it rose, it is 22.30 over there right now, as it's 7.30 kbt. There's even a Kentbor Hub Elite City on Kentbordy Street with the Kentbor Earthian Station Underground also a Kentbor Universal Exchange Machine on site, it's a DG Square Elite Z Complex. Anyhow, this as Hexex Cryptor told me that they has since departed 2 hours ago as I am going to head to the Hyperloop as I got my passport, required documents, IDs and my stuff, as I must depart in half hour at 8.30am Silver City.
Anyhow the Hyperloop pod is taken earlier than expected. As we must head to the station right away as we head to my car. Yes, this as we must arrive before it even arrives. Anyhow Mao Mao's car is ready to go. Yes, get in please, and don't forget to buckle up as it's a law. Click it or ticket. Oh my god. Alarm. Alarm. Now now, Anne and Luce has since departed KBFC and is on the way to the Hyperloop station. They may depart outside of Canbordi City, Pod moving west. RDK 3000 Tristar Hex Tapalian Unit Hex H Cryptor and his crew and RDK Core Hot Apia Division Leader Sarah JD Cryptor is now confirmed on board. Next destination, Web Chesterfield. We must stop them. KS Cryptor, Corey D Cryptor. Go track them down, and if they go past RDK 3000 Tristar Canbor D Bureau, head to our cars as told. We must pack up fast in an event they go on board and head west, as that includes our passports, documents, IDs, and stuff. I will go message Rain Z Critter from RDK 3000 Tristar Web Chester Unit Division from Web Chester Field and message SX Critter and Sarah JD Critter to alert the subject. I will also go alert Canberra Splix Kip 784 Studios on the subject as well as with the main bureau in the lead city, Elitopia. Mau Mau, Anne and Luz have since went out of KBSC and heading to the Hyperloop. We must stop them. We do have our car packed for the trip to head west to North Indian Republic for our day trip however if they do head to the Hyperloop, they could be heading to Wib Chesterfield or Elite City Metro, and thus in an event they do, we must scrap our trip to North Indian Republic. Ken Boromarsh Tom, when do the Hyperloop pod arrive? Before 9.50 KBT. We must head to Ken Boromarsh's car fast. The Gunma 6. They have since left prematurely as they left us behind. We must chase them down. The plane won't depart until noon, as we head to Norsadian Republic for a day trip. We must chase them down. Hold on. They are heading the Hyperloop station. This is I got paged by one of the fellows from RDK 3000 TriStar and Bordy. They are in an operation to stop Mau Mau and endless from boarding the Hyperloop pod. We must do so as well while we chase down the Canbor 6. Our stuff is in my car including passport, IDs and such. The Hyperloop pod next destination is Webkester Field, then to Elite City Metro but divert south to Xenopolis City. Xenopolia then head north to Elitopia to head to Elite City Metro. City in the past two hours as it's 8 a.m. in Winchesterfield. The pod arrives at 9 o'clock sharp in the next 60 minutes. This is I'll head to the station in half hour, as I got my stuff packed up and ready to go. No wonder XX Cryptor and his crew from Canbordi City plus 12 others who are not from RDK3000 Tristar are joining in with XH Cryptor and his crew and I'll join in. 